Welcome back to this series of Information Security Management System, ISO 27001 videos brought to you by Advanced Innovation Group. Through this video, we shall work at understanding the clause number 9.3, Management Review. You may recall that clause number 9 is about performance evaluation. So the first step of performance evaluation was through clause number 9.1, Monitoring, Measurement, Analysis and Evaluation. Subsequent to that, the next deployment for performance evaluation was internal audit. And finally, we are looking at clause number 9.3, management review. It says, top management shall review the organization's information security management system at planned intervals to ensure its continuing suitability, adequacy, and effectiveness. The management review shall include considerations of A, the status of actions from previous management reviews, B, changes in external and internal issues that are relevant to the information security management system. C, feedback on the information security performance, including trends in, one, non-conformities and corrective actions, monitoring and measurement results, audit results, and fulfillment of information security objectives. D, feedback from interested parties. E, results of risk assessment and status of risk treatment plan, and F, opportunities of continual improvement. The output of management review shall include decisions related to continual improvement opportunities and any needs for changes to the information security management system. The organization shall retain documented information as evidence of the result of management reviews. Like we've discussed earlier here in the leadership uh, videos, ISO management systems lay a lot of emphasis on involvement of the top management for implementation and upkeep of any management system. In keeping with the same thought, as part of the performance evaluation, you have a clause number 9.3, which is about management review of the organization's information security management system. The standard mandates that the management review shall be done by the top management that the top management shall review the organization's ISMS at planned intervals every six months or year or quarterly, whatever is your organizational process, to ensure its continuing suitability, adequacy, and effectiveness. And when reviewing the information security management system, considerations of actions from the previous management review meetings, any changes to internal external issues that could have an impact on the information security management system, feedback on information security performance about the non-conformities and their subsequent corrective action, monitoring and measurement results, audit results, and fulfillment of information security objectives must be made part of the consideration for the management review meeting. Moreover, feedback from interested parties, results of the risk assessment, and the subsequent risk treatment plan status should also feature as a part of consideration for the management review meeting. And finally, the opportunities of continual improvement for the information security must also be look, looked at. The standard mandates that the output of the management review shall include decisions about the continual improvement opportunities, any changes to the information security management system as an outcome of the management review of the existing information security management system. Management review meeting results is a mandatory documented information. Like I was saying right at the start, management review is a very important part of the overall review of the performance of the information security within the company. So the standard has gone to the extent of defining what are the necessary considerations that should be kept in mind when you are looking at doing the management review meeting? And what is the minimal output that the management review meeting shall have? Thus providing you a framework on how to strengthen the information security management system through the usage of involvement of the top management. This is a simple clause but it is 
an important part of the assessment of information security management system in the organization. Top management involvement will always be considered a very important success factor for any information security management system implementation or for that matter, any ISO standard implementation. The top management must look at how well have the information security objectives been achieved? Have all information security processes yielded the intended outcome that they were supposed to? Management review meeting, final point of performance evaluation for the information security management system. This will be a very serious contributor to the information security management system processes within the company. Additionally, like we have discussed earlier, management review meeting results is a mandatory documented information. If you are working as a lead auditor or wish to pursue the lead auditor's job assessing information security management system implementation, you must pay a lot of emphasis on this clause and look at what changes have happened as an outcome of such management reviews. You must look at whether management review meetings have yielded in strengthening the information security management system within the company. And if you are an implementation professional in the ISO 27001 area, you must look at management reviews as a huge opportunity of strengthening your information security processes and controls. I hope you find this video simple and useful in your pursuit to understanding ISO 27001-2013. Thank you.